What is up YouTube? Today we are going to be talking about Bitcoin breaking out of horizontal resistance and whether volume will keep it pushing higher. So let's get right into this. Before we talk about Bitcoin, we always do the total market cap and the top mover of the day. Right now, the total market cap has seen a horizontal break above resistance. This is now green. We used to have it red in the previous episode. So that is a really, really good sign. Volume is also at $69 billion, which is the same volume that we saw at the peak of the entire hype cycle when all the FOMO was happening. Everybody was super excited in January of 2018. That was also about $68 billion in total volume. So this is good to see that type of volume coming in after such a big drop. It also played out with our cup and handle pattern right here. As you can see, the cup and then the handle formation. When it broke above that horizontal level, that's what gave it the momentum to push higher, confirming the cup and handle pattern. So our next real horizontal resistance zone is 186 to about 192. And that's where I'm going to be watching the price action to carry on over the next little while. On coinmarketcap.com, we see a lot of green. So let's just see which one has the highest percentage. It looks like Bitcoin Cash is up 32%, just a little bit above Metaverse ETP, which is up about 30%. So let's just go ahead and do some analysis on Bitcoin Cash. Bitcoin Cash in the big picture has fell over 98% from its peak at around $4,200 to its lows at about 75. So this is a pretty intense market cycle on the downside, but let's just go ahead and see what's going on in the smaller time frame to make sense of this high percentage for the day. And zooming into the four hour time frame, we see an Adam and Eve bottom pattern with a very nice rounded structure and an increasing volume at this major resistance area. So we're breaking above a horizontal resistance point just like Bitcoin did. So it looks like Bitcoin is starting to carry some of the alts that were falling behind as it breaks above its horizontal resistance. So on the short term, I do expect this to push higher before we see a real drop, but I wouldn't really buy into this unless you get a short term panic, like on the four hour time frame. If we drop a little bit, then you could buy the panic before we push higher. So now let's talk about Bitcoin for a second, because this is actually a really, really impressive move here that we've seen as we just push right above that horizontal resistance in a very quick period of time. Now, the volume isn't as high as what you're seeing when we actually hit this low right here and we started to bottom out, but it is a little bit higher than what we saw in this consolidation period right here. I would like to see that volume increase a little bit as the price action continues to do so to really give confirmation that we're gonna keep seeing higher highs in the short term. But this just goes to show how well downtrending resistance lines work and how that red horizontal line that I told you guys all to put on your chart worked so well for an early signal that the bulls were gonna take back charge and control over the market because as soon as that downtrending level was broken is when we started to get this price action on the upside like this. So if you're a bull on Bitcoin like I am, I would stay long for now. There's still quite a bit of upward movement to go. You might take a little bit of profit off the table, but there's still a lot of ways before this major horizontal resistance level is reached. And it's really good to stay long when the conditions are good to be long. And if you're a Bitcoin bear, I hope that you had a stop loss, at least if you're one of my followers. And, you know, just understand that it's really not the best time to be a major Bitcoin bear after an over 80% drop in market value. It really isn't good to short a lot after that kind of a drop in any market, in my opinion. So that just goes to show why it's really good to buy the bigger picture drops because after anything 80 percent or even a 786 level shorting risk to reward ratio drops quite significantly but yeah even the altcoin market cap right now total market cap looks really good the volume spike is actually higher than what it was at the peak of the market so that is a really nice thing to be seeing happening with the altcoins right now if we can break above some of this horizontal resistance 
for the altcoin market cap it's between 78 billion and 116 that's really going to give us the momentum to see a big picture reversal pattern happen so yeah there's lots of good stuff coming in crypto over the next little while and it's really nice to be part of the community again as this volume starts to come back in and the price action starts to tell a little bit of a different story than it was through this area and even this area here. Either way, I hope you enjoyed today's video. We're going to be watching these resistance levels and support levels. And again, Bitcoin volume to come in a little bit stronger here over the next couple days. But things are looking good. And I appreciate you tuning in to today's video. Go ahead and hit that like button. Follow me on social media in the description box below. And I will see you guys in the next videos. As always, stay profitable out there.